Hello everyone, it's Tony. I recently bought this from Arteza's website. They were having a back to school sale. And I also bought a 48 pack of watercolor pencils. So I'm gonna do two separate videos. I'll do a swatch of the 72 color pencil and a swatch of the 48 watercolor pencils. So first I'm gonna open these up. I'm not really sure what to expect out of these. Um, they say they're artist quality, but they're also kind of more of a budget pencil. So they're, they're budget friendly at least. The one thing I kind of question about professional uh, color pencil artists using this is that you can't buy them open stock. So if you run out of a favorite color, you can only buy a whole new set. It just doesn't seem very professional friendly. So maybe they're professional quality, but I don't think that they're pencils a professional would necessarily use all the time. Is that a hinge? Oh, that hinge is broken. Is it broken? I don't think it's broken. I think it just came off. There we go. Okay. So it's got a color chart inside as well as on the back of the tin with light fast readings. Here are some of the pencils. Okay, so I've got three trays of color pencils, and actually, one thing that's really bothering me <laughs> is that these pencils are not in the same order as they are on the list. So I've created a swatch chart that are the same order as the list that's on the back of the tin and on their... Um, color listing inside the tin cover. So I'm gonna to have to reorganize these and that's just, that sounds like a good time. Not. <laughs> it's a little ridiculous how much that irritates me. I'm not gonna hunt for each pencil. What I'm gonna do is pick up the pencils. Oh, that's not gonna work either. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, we'll start with, this, I'm just gonna go out of order because I need to rearrange the pencils. It's just a pain. Okay, I'm gonna start with the one at the top, the white quartz. I don't know, these feel like a harder pencil. Let me put a cushion underneath this. It's not really a cushion. Okay, so I know this is a white pencil and you can't really see anything these pencils are compared to Prismacolor a lot, and I don't know, I'm not feeling it yet. Yeah, so far with just that one pencil, it doesn't feel uh, extremely similar to Prismacolor. Okay, I'm going to go out of order now. I'm picking up the black. Well, that's kind of soft. That's softer than the white one was. Okay, so the black pencil was here. I'm gonna put the white pencil here and I'm just gonna start my list this way and go this way. So now I'm gonna do whatever color this one is. I'm, I'm just gonna go in this order and fill out the swatch that way. So this one is amethyst purple. Okay, and then I'll try to find the sapphire yellow, I guess. Oh, it's right here. Okay, so there's no like ivory or cream color really in the 72 set. That's a little disappointing. Ultimately, I bought these because they were on sale. And I was thinking if they're pencils that I'm not really going to end up using, I can give them to my daughter for her birthday. Okay, let's do purple iris. Jasmine yellow. These also would probably feel better if I had sharpened them. I think I would like using them better. They're just very blunt on the end. Indigo. You know what, I am, I am gonna, nope, I'm not gonna get the sharper. Yeah, I am. 
Okay, let's try one sharpened. It looks much nicer sharpened. It's a pretty nice pencil. It is harder than a Prismacolor. Well, that just means that it keeps its point. So they are pigmented. But I am gonna go ahead and sharpen them all now. They do crumble a little bit. There's ultramarine blue. This is kind of a lot of yellows for a 72 set. We've got yellows all the way down to yellow ochre, maybe even marmalade orange. I'm not sure what color that's gonna be. Apricot's kind of a peach. It just seems like a lot of yellows and no ivory or cream. Oh, I like that blue. See, a lot of yellows and those three are not very different from each other. So I'm not sure why they had to, I'm not sure why they felt the need to include so many yellows when they're so similar. There's a set of this honey. And yellow ochre. Now going down in a swatch here, they do feel a little bit like a polychromos to me. But I won't really know which they're more similar to until I start blending. So I'll probably have to color a page to get an idea of how I really like the pencils. So I've started kind of just going in order and moving the other pencils out of the way. I think that's easier. Okay, now this is the coral, and this barrel looks pretty, almost fluorescent, but if you look at the lead, it doesn't. So this, I think, I'm curious to see how it comes out here, but this, I think, is going to show uh, one reason why it's good to swatch. Yeah, this isn't a fluorescent color at all, but if you go by the barrel, you would think it would be. Also, that color does not match this barrel at all. This is definitely a, a bit more cool with some pinky bluey in it, whereas this barrel looks really red. In fact, both of these just don't match at all. That's not a problem. It's just, it's important to swatch, so you know those things. Looking for magenta. See, I was looking for magenta, but this barrel looks brown. It's almost the same as the crimson red. See, it's almost the same, but look how different the barrels are. If you have Arteza pencils, it's just really, really important, I think, that um, you also have a swatch sheet for them. Okay, now we've got peaches and cream. I'm gonna make my point on this sharpener a little bit longer. This is the sharpener I've been using. For Prismacolors, I usually set this on a one or two to have a really short point, just because otherwise they crumble and break really easily. Uh, for these, I just set it to a three. So here is a one, and here's a three. So the point's a bit longer, which I actually prefer. So you can have a, a longer point on these than Prismacolors. They do smudge though. When I do this with, when I wipe the paper with Prismacolors, I don't have that issue, but I'm gonna have to get a brush or something. Pink macaroon. 
looks like macaron. These say macaroon, right? Or maybe it's just macaron. Or maybe it just is regional. How do you say that word? Okay, so I've got one tray filled in and I'm realizing why they don't package it this way is because it's super ugly. But the gradient doesn't look super ugly. So it's really the barrels that are the issue. Again, not a problem, just more testament to the fact that the barrels do not match the color. Not even close. <laughs> For plum purple now. I was looking for plum purple. That's not the color I expected. Yeah, okay. Akina, what is this word? Oob purple. Or yub purple. What is that? Hi, kitty. Ooh. That's a nice color. Not what I expected. I really like that one. Okay, and then I already did ultramarine blue, it's right there. So now, oops, sorry, blueberry blue. Blueberry blue. Ooh, that's not blue. That is very teal. I like it. Jade green. No, this one does not have a name on it. Look at this. Look at this. This one does not have a name. It's all rubbed off. It's not even rubbed off. It's just not printed. That's bizarre. You see, it's not rubbed off. It's like a very clear cut. All the way down. It's a misprint. I don't know what color that is, but it's the one that's not labeled, so uh, it's definitely not jade green. Shamrock, turquoise. Are you jade green? You're fern green. Okay, can you imagine why I didn't find jade green when I was looking for it? Ocean blue. Anytime I hear Ocean Blue, I think of a song my daughter learned a few years ago in preschool. Hi, kitty. She learned how to spell the color blue. There was something about Ocean Blue in the song, and that's just what I think of. Yes. Princess. So scaredy cat. Robin Egg Blue. Mm-hmm. I already fed you. You see what I'm doing? I don't even know. Shamrock green. I don't understand that. Why would you call that shamrock green? <laughs> That's not what color shamrocks are. Turquoise. Lime green. Lime green must be the one that's not labeled, so I'm going to set that one aside. green. I have seen some really nice pictures colored with Arteva pencils, especially, um, oh, I don't remember the 100% accurately the name of her channel, but, um, DK Design does a lot of work in the Romantic Country books with the Arteva pencils. Those look really nice. So I know that these can give great results. I kind of like that green. Sage green. This pencil sharpener leaves my pencils so messy. 
That is one thing that I don't like about it. I'm thinking about getting a new one. I was looking at the doll pencil sharpener. My light's a little different because we had to take a bit of a break. Oh, broke it. Yeah, this pencil's broken. Very broken. <laughs> That's what color it is. I hear that they have great customer service, so I'm sure if I let them know that that one arrived broken, they'll take care of it. Gray. A nice choice of grays. And then this one that wasn't labeled must have been the lime green, which Makes sense because it's so bright. That is lime. Okay, so that's the chart finished. The pencils are um, much harder than Prismacolors, but still fairly soft. They're very pigmented. I feel like you have a good selection of greens in this 72 set. I like the amount of grays you have. I like that there are warm grays as well as cool grays and light grays and dark grays. Um, I feel like a lot of the yellows are kind of the same. And I feel that all the reds lean <clears throat> lean a little pink. I feel like there's not really, I feel limited in the red options. Uh, but nice blues and greens and neutrals. This is what they look like in their trays when they're in order. Not beautiful because their barrels just don't match the colors. But overall, I'm excited to use these and see how they blend. In fact, I might, just real quick, let's, let's just do a little blend test. I'm just picking these colors randomly. I don't even, I'm not even looking at what they are. I've got a red, an orange, a yellow, a green. Um, let's do a blue and a purple. I'm just going to blend these. That orange goes over the red really nicely. Does blend nice. Oh, it's very nice. It doesn't smoosh the same way as a Prismacolor, but it does go over the top very nicely. I'm not sure I'd be able to put a lot of layers on that. But I like the way they lay down on top of each other. There's some blue. Green going on a little. Sorry, I'm pushing pretty hard. Okay, that's not that light green and that dark blue. That's not blending super nice, so I'll we'll have to go lightly over top with that blue. And then more green. Okay. And then purple. That's nice. Okay, so that was pretty hard pressure. Let's just try it one more time with light pressure. Red.
So I think in order to get a nice blend with these, you'll either have to be pushing pretty hard already or um, keep layering. Use lots of layers. Go over with your colors again. It was easier to blend the blue and the green with a lighter touch though. Okay, and so then We just wanted to make this a smoother fade. I'm just going over again with a, another layer of some other colors. Really lightly over that green. That green and that blue don't play very nice together. Yeah, so I don't think you could layer forever with these, but they do blend nicely together. I think two or three layers is really all you might be able to get out of them. Okay, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please click the thumbs up button if you did, and go ahead and subscribe if you'd like more content like this in the future.